Greetings, friends. Today is May 28th, and in the time in which I have not spoken to you, a lot has actually happened, and we will go through them step by step. Um, let's see. I'm not going to start off with this. This happened second. So, first, May 22nd, I decided to have an injury at work where I sliced my thumb right here uh, with a box cutter. Great. Don't try that at home, children. Um, be careful what you're doing with box cutters. It can be very, very difficult. Luckily, it's my left hand and my left thumb. So, you know, that was a trip to the emergency room. Got five stitches. It's all wrapped up now. I'm going to have to go and get stitches taken out in like 11, or 12, 11 to 14 days. And oh, that's going to be a whole process. So, yeah, that was that situation. And man, I mean, it happened on a Saturday at like 8 p.m. No, 8.30, I think. That's when we got to the emergency room. And, like, I didn't come in in, like, an ambulance because, come on, it's just, like, your finger, whatever. So just have somebody drive you. Um, so, like, I was in the waiting room for, like, four hours before I was actually seen. And, I mean, it's not like it was hurting or anything, but it's like, oh, come on. I just want to get this over with and they had to do an x-ray and oh my god I was like I'm gonna puke because I saw it because it was like slit open Blech. I have a picture of it of what it looks like when it's got stitched up and it's like Frankenstein looking like but I mean it 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 doesn't look terrible I mean but it doesn't look beautiful either right now um <laughs> uh, there'll be a scar for a little while I think um, it's gonna be fun. Um, so that put me out of work for a little while, and I'm just, you know, just like, god fucking damn it. Seriously, I need the money, and you're gonna, me being like a stupid motherfucker, had to go and slice my finger with a box cutter. So mad. Ugh, okay. I'm sorry. But um, apparently the people in the ER thought I was a lovely person and that they were so appreciative of me being, um, of waiting my turn and uh, they thought I was a wonderful doctor. And they said that to my mother. My mother, on the other hand, was like, oh, you're being so annoying. She does that. Sorry. Anyway. Um... So yeah, that happened, and I we didn't get out of the ER waiting room until like we didn't get out of the e ER until like two thirty a.m. I think. So I just crashed, and it was crazy. But then the next day, thank God I met, decided like that I had wanted to cut my hair in general. But, like, literally the next day, like, I, even beforehand, I had made plans to have my friend cut my hair the next day. Thank you, my lady. So, luckily, I was, like, I didn't have to go more than, like, one day with long hair and a hand that, like, I can't use to wash long hair. So, I went from my long hair to this. You can see it kind of in the back. I know it's a little bit icky right now it's because I haven't really been doing much I haven't been doing anything but overall I like it a lot I think it's very nicely done um we just kind of were winging it as to how we thought it would be and I think that we as a group me and my lovely friend um who's always around for me and I asked if she would cut my hair for me uh she did an amazing job and I thank her for it and I'm giving you a shout out right now so thank you she also did like an undercut you can't really you can't see it but it's just a very small undercut like 
that goes from like here and then across the nape of the back of my neck to over on this side of my head. And basically she was just like, this is just because you have so much hair. Like my hair is not necessarily super thick. It's just that I have a lot of it. And so it gets very volumized if I just do something, if I don't do it. Like if I, if certain situations come up. So she's just like, let's just take, at first I was like actually considering just like kind of getting an undercoat anyway. And she's like, let's just do it. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. And like, I, when we started doing it, it was just like perfect. And like all this underneath of my head just feels so cool. And it's just like, oh, all this hair is just gone. And she's like, oh my God, this makes it so much easier for me to like style your hair better. And I can do so much more with it and everything. And even so, like I can put my hair up like this and like I can put my hair up halfway and you still won't even notice that there's an undercut or anything. So it's like, it's pretty perfect. You can, I like it a lot. I really do. So that, um, that happened. I mean, I, and I'm very happy with about that. I'm really loving the hairstyle. Um, and then because I can go to work, I've pretty much been just binge watching TV. Even though I do have some things that I should technically be doing, like paying some bills. Um, I haven't been doing that. Also, like workers comp stuff that I need to do because of my hand. I haven't done that yet. But I will get around to that stuff. Just need to give myself a mental break. <laughs> I wonder how long that mental break will be. <laughs> like, mental break down. <laughs> mental break down. Um, yeah, that's what it seems like. It's more like a mental break down. Not just a mental break, just a mental break down. Oh, they. Um, I am excited to say that I'm going to hopefully be volunteering at the hospital soon. Um, and a children's ward, it seems a little bit daunting right now, but hopefully I will be able to overcome my fears and be able to help people because that's what I want to do. It's just something that I, I'm like afraid I'm going to mess up and I don't want that to happen. I want, I want it to be so that I'm actually helping people yeah um and considering I haven't really been able to do anything and I've just been sitting in my house all the fucking day I've spent a lot of money on DoorDash eating their food eating food from different places and not going anywhere uh so they've been getting all of my money um, and then I've binge watched multiple TV shows. Uh, if you like thrillers, you need to watch the limited series called Behind Your Behind Her Eyes. It is weird and awesome at the same time. It's got a web of lies and truths and secrets and stuff about the past and all this stuff it's it's really cool it's just very fun and and, and interesting intriguing um and it it takes you on a twist and turn all the way to the very end and i love that i loved that about that movie that show um and then i just literally in one day and that's only six episodes so you don't have to worry about like taking a huge long time for it um and then Another one that I just watched, and it's oh, two seasons, and it's kind of a cliche sort of one, but it's also based off of a book, and I don't know how much of it's based off of a book, um, but obviously it's about, like, the two, like, cancer patients, two kid cancer patients, and it's called uh, Zach and Mia, um, but they, like, meet in the cancer ward and stuff, and, you know, cancer shit happens. And 
I don't want to give too much away because that's the whole premise, you know, everything. Um, and it's like, if you, if you just want like something funny on in the background or something to kind of like keep you emotionally involved. But there were times when I was like, this is really emotional. Like I would like get teared up because like, this is an emotional feeling like, man, I'm not seeing this coming or something. So there were some emotional emotional points in that in that uh, series, especially the first season. I like this first season the best. Um, but the second season was pretty good too. Uh, and now I'm gonna probably try and find something else to watch because I don't have anything else to do besides stuff that I should do. Um, yeah, so. I was actually really hoping that I could do something fun for Memorial Day, you know, but now since I have something fucked up with my thumb, like, I can't do shit. Like, I can't go anywhere. I can't go in, like, the water or, like, or, like, I want to go on, like, a jet ski or shit, but nope, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna fucking happen. Nope. No. I'm fucking stuck in my house. Yep. That's my life, bitches. Anyway, so that's what's been up with me, um, but I'm loving my haircut, and I'm loving, loving it all, and, uh, besides, well, besides this, not loving this, this is my new, my new addition, it's my new addition to the scars that I have, <laughs> it was scary at first, though I think I, I think I reacted pretty, pretty well to, um, to the whole oh my god I just slit my finger open with a box cutter besides the fact that I swore in the middle of a sales floor <laughs> it was the most funny thing in the entire world thank god we were so close to closing time because I just it happened and I just swore tad bit too loudly I went shit and I was like oh my god I just swore and then I was like somebody go get a manager right now and then I started like covering my hand with like, my other hand so that the two pieces of skin would stay together and oh my god it was like something out of a horror film it was hilarious <laughs> oh my god I can't believe it <laughs> I wonder if they'll write me up for that <laughs> alright guys it was nice talking to you I will talk to you later but unfortunately because of this I'm probably not going to be able to do anything with vi my violin for a while <sighs> this just sucks See you later, alligators.